food plays a role in all celebrations because um, a celebration is a number of people. You can't, you don't have a single person celebration. If you do, it's a very sad celebration, really, because we're used to celebrating being a lot of people together, and there's that's the celebratory spirit. And this can come about when people sit down and eat together. So food is sort of automatically part of any celebration. And the fact is that, that it's not, most celebrations involve special foods. And it might be, it might be a birthday is a celebration. And so you have a birthday cake. It might be a 21st birthday. And that, so you have a, a special 21st birthday cake. It might be a wedding and you have special foods for a wedding culminating in the wedding cake. And so for Christmas, it's again, one of these celebrations where the foods that you have are not everyday foods, they're special foods and that adds to the celebration. So you don't usually go out and buy a whole leg of ham for anything else apart from Christmas. You don't usually go out and buy a turkey for anything other than Christmas, unless you're American and you have it for Thanksgiving. So these sort of once a year foods add to the to the festive spirit because they're because they're different and because you know that they're connected with this special occasion. When we were living in France, uh, it was difficult to get the ingredients for Christmas pudding to begin with. And the tradition there was what was called a bouche de Noël, a chocolate log, which you cover with chocolate icing and make it look like a log. And we inherited these little dwarfs, these funny little animals, creatures. And my daughter, who was two at the time, had great fun uh, decorating the, the bouche de Noël with these little creatures. And so that was the tradition that we kept up even when we moved to America, we still made a bouche de Noël because it was still difficult to get all the Christmas pudding ingredients there. Uh, and it was easier to make a bouche de Noël and that was what they knew. And then we came back to Australia and the children went to school, they were five, and they went to school for just the last weeks of the school year here in, in Adelaide. And they don't do very much in the last couple of weeks of school, especially in, in that grade, kindergarten. And my daughter came home and she said she'd been asked to colour in this thing on a Christmas card and it was brown with black dots. And she said, what's this? And I thought, oh dear, <laughs> if they don't know what a Christmas pudding is, I better start introducing them to it. <laughs> so since then, you know, it's been important to have a Christmas pudding. <laughs>